Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce if statements. So do you remember if statements in Carol? Well, Java has if statements too. The format looks like this. We say if Boolean expression, and then the code to execute only if that expression is true. We also have the if else statement, which looks like this. If Boolean expression, code to execute if the Boolean expression is true, else code to execute if the Boolean expression is false. And here, only one or the other branch of the if statement will run. We also have something new called else if, which allows us a few more options. So we could say if Boolean expression one, and the code to execute if that Boolean expression is true. Else if Boolean expression two, code to execute if Boolean expression two is true, else, the code to execute if neither expression is true. So we can have lots of different tests. And here, only one or the other will execute, not more than one will. And we can have multiple else if statements. So let's look at an example. Here we can say int number equals read int, and then ask the user for a number. And then if the number is less than zero, we say system.out.println number is negative. Let's look at an if else statement. Here we can say int num equals read int, enter a number. And then if num mod two equals equals zero, we print line the number is even. Otherwise we print out the number is odd. So let's go look at this one in our code editor. Okay, so let's ask the user for a number. Int number equals read int, and we'll ask them for a number. And then we'll say if number mod two equals equals zero, then we'll print line number is even, else we'll print line number is odd. Okay, so let's run this and see what happens. So I'll type in 10 and hit enter, and that should be even, and we get the right answer. Now we'll click run code again, and I'll type in 73 and that's odd so it looks good and just to break this down here a little bit more on line 8 we're doing something pretty interesting we're using our mod operator so we're saying if number mod 2 equals equals 0 what that means is we're asking if if you divide number by 2 and take the remainder is it equal to 0 and the reason that means that it's even is because even numbers divide evenly by two, they don't have any remainder. And so that's a common uh, pattern that you'll see if you wanna ask if, num if a number is even. So that's what an if statement or if else statement looks like in Java. And now you'll have a chance to write some if statements.